All right, everyone, welcome back to a new video. We are in Walmart currently. Just paid for these two rods that we found here. 30 bucks a piece. My mom got one and I got the same one. We're gonna have a $30 Ozark Trail spinning rod reel video today. It comes with two Whopper Ploppers, which I love Whopper Ploppers, but the Walmart ones are not that good, but hey, it's always good to try. We're gonna go to a, a, a dam. Uh, probably about 10 minutes down the street from the Walmart we're at right now. This is a 6.6 medium. Actually, actually, you know, both of them are. They look really nice, actually. They have the, I don't know what, what type of, like, grippy style. Like, part on top. I don't know what the hell's called. So, yeah. That's the Ozark Trail spinning rod combo challenge that comes with two whopper floppers they were only 30 bucks each which is really good actually because if you really think about it whopper floppers alone usually are about 12.99 depending on what which brand you get but those are trail ones are usually five so yeah see if we get anything on these nice rods all right everyone first fish on the new rod bluegill see you later buddy all right red breast now there he goes all right, everyone, another bluegill. See you later, buddy. There he goes. Came flying out. He hit one of the rocks. At least he's good. This rod's pretty good for 30 bucks. Not bad so far. What, what, what is going on with my line? Okay, never mind. That was me. All right. Not bad. All right, guys. Um, I was just using my new rod again over towards the, uh, the water over there. And I just landed my first channel catfish of the year. Two pounds and four ounces. Look how pretty this guy is. I got a picture of him just like that. There we go. You ready to go back, buddy? Thank you for being my first channel cat of the year. First good fish of the year. Woo! Splashies. There he goes. Man, he looks cool. In the, he looks so cool in the water. In there. See you later, my friend. All right, I got another bluegill on that rod. See you later, buddy. It's pretty good. I'm using a little eagle claw ball head jig. And here's that nice Ozark Trail rod. Really good for $30. I have no complaints so far. It casts really nice and everything, so maybe in a little while I'll try to get some videos of me fishing. So, yeah. All right, four bluegills now. There he goes. They fight pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys probably don't want to see me catch bluegills all day, so if I catch any more on this rod, I probably won't record. If I get anything else real nice, I'll, I'll probably record it. All right, first white perch here today. See you later, buddy. He had some really nice colors on him. I got a nice picture of him. All right, everyone, second red breast of the day. I moved down a little bit over towards the bridge. Also, got that on the rod. I only caught my fish on this, on this rod today. And I found this really nice uh, lipless crank right here. It was stuck on a log, so I got it off. It's really nice. I, I wrapped it, uh, the, the line around it. I'll cut that off with my braid scissors when I get back over to uh, my bag. So, yeah, pretty cool. A little beat up, but... Hey, probably good uh, striper bait. May go for one. That's what I really would like to get is a striper out of here. They have some nice ones. Oh my god, the guy over there just cut a turtle. <laughs> oh my god, that's a, that's a big one. Got an alligator snapper. Oh wow. Alright guys, this is going to be a pain to do, but I'm walking all the way over to the other side where those guys are. I have to walk all the way around the fence over here at the dam. Go all the way around, so it's gonna be a nice hike. Probably a nice mile. Not really, I don't know. Depends. Oh yeah. This dam connects to uh, the biggest lake in South Jersey, Union Lake. So yeah. Flowing off of the flowing into the Maurice River, right? I'm pretty sure. So yeah. Got the nice catfish out of my fir first uh, channel catfish of the year, and now he's my biggest catfish of the year. So it's great to, to see. I've been wanting the channel catfish for a while. He's two pounds, four ounces. Biggest catfish on the year. So, yeah. Take me a little while to walk over here, but oh, we're gonna try. Hopefully we can catch a striper or something. That'll be really nice. They have some decent stripers in here. That rattle trap, I tied it on. I got all the line off of it on my other rod. That thing's really hard to throw around. It, it's heavy. So, 
don't know how much of that rattle trap I'll be using, but it, it's a nice find, though, which is nice to see. So. Yeah, let me stop talking. Let me go hike over to a spot. It's going to be a pain to go. All right, guys, I just caught another yellow, I mean, another white perch. Get him out. Oh, crazy guy. There he is. Oh, come here. Here. There he is. Get a proper picture of him. There we go. I got him in this muck right here. See you later, buddy. All right, now let's see if we can get a striper and maybe try a top water. All right, everyone, I did it again. Another catfish. This guy's half the weight of the other one. One pound, two ounce. Other one was 2.4. So, yeah, on the Ozark Trail rod. That's all I've been catching. Uh, that's the only rod the fish have been biting today, which is nice to see. So, yeah, really nice. Pretty small, but, hey, he's got a little stomach on him. I don't know if you can see that. Oh! Crazy thing. Where are you going? I'll see you later, my friend. Man, he just splashed my camera. Well, he splashed me. He didn't get my phone, at least. All right. Here's a fourth white perch for the day. Is it raining? I think it is. All right. <laughs> got, got me scared for a second. Mike. Is it raining? It's raining. All right, everyone. Uh, let's see if I can get a bit of fish on camera or something like that. So, just using the green worms, or whatever. Yeah, there's these dumb people in these kayaks that came through here. Like, there's people trying to fish, catfish, and whatever. So, that's not a smart idea. So yeah, lesson to kayakers: don't come through while people are fishing, like at like a spot or something. I mean. A little while ago, the drizzling, I mean, probably the last clip I had, I caught a few, I think I caught another white perch or so. Another red red. They record them. Yeah. Not that sunny. Yeah, let's see. Get some right over here. I've been over here for probably about an hour now, so I probably just go back a little while now. Like going to a different spot soon. This rod's been great today. Honestly, pretty good for $30. Honestly, I have no complaints. Hopefully, we can. Yeah, right, right over here, we can talk to right here. The water's really fast, so not really getting up. one of the day. Get him off. This guy's like eating hooks today. Come on, buddy. There we go. Here he is. Here's a oh. You gonna let me lick you? There you go. There he is. Number five. Back in. Goes. Alright. I'd like to catch another catfish before I go, but hey, if I don't, I'm not gonna be mad. First two channel catfish of the year. You probably can't even hear me that good. But I don't know. You know if there's anything I could like do to improve quality and like the audio of the videos. It's like I'm using my iPhone to record on. I don't know how good this is. Like I don't want to talk be like talking to myself too loud or whatever. Ooh, wasn't even paying attention to anybody. Okay. I came off. Okay, paying attention. Like, I don't want to be, like, talking too loud because then I don't want people staring at me like, what is this kid doing talking to himself? So, <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we can get that fish back. Probably another white perch or a red dress sunfish. Yeah. It's getting a little boring. It's getting a little slow as well right now. Probably going to thunderstorm later. Here we go. Right here. 
right over to where that water's like foaming up right there. Really where all the fish can hide in there. That's where I'm catching all my fish over on this side of it. Might be funny. Whoa! That was a jump right there. Right in front of me, some jump. Look at those stripers. Saltwater video that I started recording yesterday. It's gonna be a two part video. I'm gonna divide into two parts on that one. Did one part yesterday. Yesterday probably would have been the full video. More fish were fighting and whatever. Maybe it wasn't so windy. You'll see that soon in the video. It'll probably be pretty bad quality, but I don't know. Can't always say that though. Whoa! What is this? Catfish! We got catfish! Ooh, that's what it was. Cat, another channel cat. Look at this, guys. We got one. Channel! Oh, that's my third of the day. That's what it was that was right there. It was a little channel cat. Awesome. I don't think I've ever recorded me catching catfish on camera. There we go. Look at that. Oh, channel cat. We get them off the hook and uh, see how much she weighs and whatever. That's probably what it was. I was jumping over there or something. Little channel catfish. See how much she weighs. I don't think I've ever gotten a, a catfish on camera or me catching one. Oh god, this guy's crazy. I'm happy with this rod. That was on the. Ugh, that was on the new rod again. Oh my god! Stop knocking down all my worms. Hey cat, hold on. Man, there we go. One one. Awesome. An ounce less than the other one. It doesn't have a stomach on him like the other one did. But hey, let's get him back in. Woo. There he goes. All right. That's three on the day. No, not six, three. <laughs> yeah. I still got a good amount of worms, actually. I'm surprised. Eh. Eh, not really, actually. I'm gonna run out. Now we'll use these last three real quick. Let's see what we get. Oh, I still have my worm, actually. I knew there was something there because I saw something splash right there. Right in the same spot. It was part of that cat. Sunfish. There he is. That is my fourth of the day for red red. See you, buddy. Got at least two of each fish that I've caught today. Which is 
cool. Done. Like five white perch. Let's see, four. No. That's my third red breast. Number, that's number three for red breast. Three channel cats. Six bluegills. Not bad today here. We might go to a different spot. Look, I think I know of a spot we might go to later. Pretty good spot. You're probably familiar with it on the channel. Catching a lot of good stuff there recently. Eh, depends on if it thunderstorms later. It might thunderstorm. There goes my worm. We got one more, one more little worm left, and then I'll probably be out of this spot. Go to another spot if I get some more worms. Fish. Hopefully, it'll still be fish by then. If it doesn't thunderstorm. It's getting nice out actually. Hmm. Not bad. And yeah, it's a really nice spot by Matt. Really nice. This dam right there. Really big. Right there. What do we got? Another white perch. Number six on the day. Oh, come here. Oh. White perch. Hi, buddy. On the last worm that I've got. So. Didn't take it. Still got bait. There he is. Alright guys, we are out of bait over here. Well, I still got my soft plastics, but I haven't got anything on soft plastics today, so I'm gonna go walk back over to the car and yeah, see what else, see where else me and my mom go. Well, my mom and I go, so yeah, she's, I haven't really gotten up today, so hopefully if we go to another spot, hopefully she does good, because I don't know. I mean, she, she got a lot of fish yesterday. She was, uh, Fishing at Stewart Lake, she got a nice bass and saw some carp. But, eh. Sometimes people do good, sometimes we don't. Yesterday, I got skunked for the first time this year, which, eh, doesn't really matter. I had, I had a few bites, but, I mean, I'm almost out here, like, every day fishing at different spots. This place is really far from me anyway, so, probably won't really see any more videos out here this year. So... I mean, this spot's good for catfish, I'll say that one, and good for stripers, but I haven't seen any out, there, out here re recently, so, yeah. All right. All right, everyone, we're in Walmart. I just got four more packs of worms, so, yeah, we're going to go head out to the next fishing spot right about now, so, see you there. All right, everyone, we're at a new spot. I'm doing a little bit of micro fishing. I just got this little uh, bluegill. See you later, little buddy. Come on, go over that way. There he goes. I had a mama cog as well. He came off right at the right at the dirt right here, but I got him in, so it counts. So, my mom, you have something? Ooh, is that a red breast? What is that? No. Yeah, it is. Yeah, a red breast. Nice. There you go on the new rod. All right, everyone. I got the mama cog back. Here he is. Oh, oh, oh! Stop. Little bait fish. Oh my God! There's little minnows just sitting swimming right here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There he goes. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. I'm going to see if I... There's a whole bunch right here. Little little baby uh, mosquito fish. If you guys can see them at all. They're all right, right here. There we go. I can see them on camera. There we go. Nice. 
me see if I can get another mellow card. Some good bait. I, next time I, I come here, maybe I should get some and use them for bait. All right, I think the rain finally stopped. It was raining for a little while. Showers, so. Little bluegill I just got on a micro setup right here. I'm using a really small, what, I don't know, size two hook or something with a really small chunk of worm. I'm using my uh, Zebco micro rod, so. Yeah, I'll probably go back to using the uh, Ozark Trail rod in a little while. I'm just doing a little bit of micro fishing. It's still a little bit raining, I think. It's not, it's just sprinkling now. All right, guys. I just got a whopper plopper from the tree. It fell down into the water and I just grabbed it with my line. Yay, free whopper plopper. That's some twelve dollars worth. I love whopper ploppers. Probably my favorite bait that I have, so yeah. Um moved over on this side just because I kept seeing some stuff jumping. There's a lot of turtles over here as well and a lot of minnows, so probably the, or maybe some snakeheads or some bass going after minnows over here. Alright everyone, I got a really pretty bluegill right here. He changed his colors a little bit. He got darker. Hmm. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, buddy. I don't know if you just saw all those spots in them. I don't know what it was. It's like a disease or something. Wart or something. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think that is. All right, everyone. Uh, I just got a little brown bullhead. I'm going to let him go. I didn't even get his picture. There we go. Oh. There. All right. That's four catfish on the day today. First Oh, head of the day. Let's let him go. See you later, little buddy. All right, haven't gotten a bass in a while, and I just got first bass of the day, seven o'clock, on my Ozark trail rod with a worm. So yeah, a nice, a nice picture. Just like that. You release him. Ready to go back? He's 15 ounces. Woo! Nice splash. Nice and healthy. All right, everyone, I'm trying out one of these Whopper Floppers now that were up. Uh, that came with the uh, the rod. Here's uh, the black. I guess we could call this like watermelon black or something. It has that type of pattern on it. See if there's any snakeheads around or something. That'd be nice. But I probably ain't going to catch nothing on these uh, Whopper Floppers. The thing I hate about the Ozark Trail ones, I don't really use them that much. What is that? That's a turtle. Okay. I don't use them that much because they're pretty... Like, they don't sound as good in the water as, nor as like, a river-to-sea one would be. When the river-to-sea ones, they're, like, $12.99. Those ones, they definitely have a good sound on them. These ones, they're pretty silent, actually. Uh, yeah. Let's go search around for some snakeheads. Maybe there's one around. I don't know. We might find one. 